Hey guys, today I thought I would show you a very quick uh, video on how I clean. This is Tater Tot. He's eight months old and he is a citrus beardy. And we got him, I believe it was this past September, and he was about three months. So I figure now he's about eight months. And we got him from a local reptile store that cares very ethically for their reptiles. It's not one of those big store brand ones. So we named him Tater Tot because Tater Tot, um, he was so tiny and I called him my little tot and it just stuck. So is it citrus orange colors? He's just so pretty, look at him. But he's a little monster miss and he um, has gotten his cage quite dirty. I just cleaned where he went to the restroom and I already cleaned that because I figured y'all probably don't want me to see me clean that. But I'm going to, um, for Tater Hot's enrichment, um, you know, as soon as I see him go to the bathroom, if I'm home, I'll clean it very quickly because I want to keep his his enclosure very hygienically clean. Um, but about once a week, I like to go ahead and, you know, switch up his little area so that, you know, it's kind of fun for him and exciting and new and just for kind of enrichment. I like to add things, take things out, um, display his different uh, different things in his in his enclosure so that he feels like it's not the same thing all the time. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do that real quick. I'm just gonna clean these tiles. We use tiles because we had our last um, Beardy Theodore. Um, so we learned, and I mean, everyone's different. Some people use the substrate, um, but we didn't want our, our Beardy Dragons to have any impaction. So what we did is we simply got these tiles from a tile store. I think it was Floor and More or something like that. And um, we just cut them out to fit this tank. So we basically have two of them. So we can easily take these tiles out and wash them with a reptile friendly washer. And Pflugers is like, I think it's called Pflugers. I'll have to look in the garage and tell you guys which one we use. But sometimes um, we did get this background. Unfortunately, they didn't really have a desert one. <laughs> so it's kind of tropical, but I figured, hey, he's gonna just love that just fine. Um, I believe this one is a desert one, but when we were looking for the biggest one, it didn't have that. But sometimes I like to put like little fake cacti and little fake plants like this one in there just to spice it up for him and just give him some enrichment. Um, so I'm going to move things around and inside of here so that things look a little different. And then if you stick around to the end of the video, you will see me feeding him some black soldier fly larvae and some medium sized dubia and some um, collard greens. All right, so stick around. Here we go. Okay, so let's go wash these. Hey, Moose.
Just want to show you guys this real quick. I just use the generic, this is a Kroger brand. It's for babies. I figure if it's good enough for babies' bumps, it's fine for our beardies. It is the fragrance free one that I use. This is like a pack of, oh geez, let's see here, 72 whites. And you know, this is what kind of I just do a spot cleaning on getting his poop out right away once he goes and I clean the spot with this stuff. But if I need to do a deep clean, I do the reptile deep cleaning one. I've used that this for several years. I've never had a problem with it. My beards have never had any issues. They have never had um, any illnesses or anything like that. And so I just wash these with just regular water. Um, every now and then I will clean them with the flukers and just get them really cleaned up. Uh, especially if Tater Tot goes to the bathroom in this one, which he is a little poop guy. And he's so annoying that sometimes like I put his veggies as I'll show you in here. And sometimes that little, little naughty boy will climb up in here. He likes to go across here and just take a crap right in there. So when that happens, I clean it with these wipes and then I keep clean it too. But he didn't do that today, so we're good there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dry these off and get them back in there because they're relatively clean and I'm gonna give him some fresh filtered water in here. Today I'm going to switch it up because I had his food bowl and his water bowl over here in this corner. So I'm just going to switch up his, um, his little area so that it's just a little different. So I'm going to put them back here, put his water there, and you can see I have a little cutout hole so you can see out of that. And then we'll put his food bowl closer to there. So just, you know, like I said, every week I try to switch switcheroo things around. Right, Tater Tot? All right, so now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, and you can see the tile looks really clean, everything looks good. So now I'm gonna get uh, go outside and what I do with these, because he poops on these too, so you can see some of that like in there, see? He doesn't do it too much on this branch, which I'm grateful for, it's hardly ever, or this little rock cave setup, but he does like to do it on that because this one is often propped up real close to the light and he just sits there. But I'm going to take these outside and spray these down. They're not too horribly dirty. These are cork. Um, this one is not cork, but these two are cork and that is wood. And we're just going to go outside with the water hose and just spray everything down real good. So let's go do that. Baby, read the fine print, I've got baggage and it's all Gucci, don't get too attached to me. Everybody act like the answer, one love like in the movies, wasting precious time assuming. Dozens of times I swear that I knew in the wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom was scanty. Doesn't mean I was broken so open. I gave and I gave it till empty. Got it all back, got it all back by myself. Now nobody can tell me. Yeah. If I tell her off, you know, I'm breathing, sitting on my own. Yeah. Can't keep making exits from the pressure. Lessons I that the question means Clearing design flaws Can't keep love Built from a love song No, I'm not only with solo and solo Exploring what I need There's dozens of times I swear that I knew when the wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom was candy Doesn't mean I was broken so open I gave and 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 I gave Okay, so while that stuff is drying outside in the sun I'm gonna take this opportunity to give Tater Tot a bath. So I'm gonna go get Tater Tot. I'm gonna turn on the water. And ideally you want the water for um, bearded dragons and reptiles to be between 85 degrees Fahrenheit and 92. So you don't want it too cold. 
or too hot, you can <clears throat> get yourself a thermometer and test the water is what we used to do until we just kind of felt comfortable with testing it for ourselves. So you can kind of guesstimate what is too hot and too cold, but if you don't feel comfortable with that, go ahead and get yourself a thermometer. So I'm gonna get this water warmed up and we'll be right back with tater tot. All right, so my water feels pretty good. We got tater tot. I like to just not have it too, the flow too much, just kind of like at a little dribble and I'll go ahead and put a stopper in my sink. Let the water start going ahead and filling up. Get a little bit going, actually a little bit more so there's a little bit down there. And then I'm gonna put tater tot in it. Look how cute he is. He, yeah, I like baths. He sort of likes baths. He's growing to like them more. He's gonna, oh, see, he, he leaps up there now, which is pretty amazing, so you have to be careful. And so I'm just gonna, because having it the flow too much is not helpful with him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse him off, scrub him with my fingers. You can use a brush, like a toothbrush, or some people use like bigger, thicker bristle brushes. Um, I just use my hands and that usually gets the job done. I turn him over just, and he actually really enjoys this. He's so cute when I do his underneath side like this. He's so adorable. Make sure it's, again, not too hot and just let it, let it go over his body. There we go. clean it with my fingers of course I wash my hands really good after make sure I get his tail really good and his feet and his little nails moose is over here I don't know if y'all can see him in the camera but he's trying so hard to be part of this Tater Tot doesn't like it when Moose is around because he feels a little scared. So, but he's getting used to him. We have uh, Moose, we have Tater Tot. Wait, Moose is our GSP. And then we have Tater Tot, our dragon. Moose, get down, get down. And then we have our Calico Kitty. And, um, you know, of course, out of preservation, Tater Tot is a little not in love with Moose and Ginger, <laughs> but that's normal. And we all get along as a family. And I'm just very mindful that this guy over here doesn't get anywhere near. I don't let Tater Tot on the floor unless Moose is in his kennel because Moose has that predatory instinct and drive to hunt and he's notorious for trying to hunt things down and chase them just for the fun of it like most dogs but that's even more in a German short hair pointer and Ginger she's just a very friendly little calico kitty off off she's a friendly calico kitty she doesn't, she doesn't try to bite him I've done a few of those as shorts showing that you know, they're just best buds. So I just let him be in the warm water. If I feel like it's a little too much, I'll kind of let it out a little bit. And then I'll put kind of like a drizzle. Now he already used the restroom, but sometimes he, they do in the water. That's a good way that if you feel like your beardy is constipated and hasn't gone recently, and you're a little worried about impaction, this is a good way to normally in a natural way without having to take your beardy to the to the vet it's kind of like the first 
line of defense with impact for infection because usually just the warm water allows them to relax and use the restroom. Of course, if your beardy doesn't do that, then you're gonna need to call your veterinarian that deals with reptiles. So yeah, I just let him play around in here for a little bit. Okay, now it's time. Tater Tot is very dry. And it's time to put him under the heat and light lamp. And then we're gonna go get his stuff outside. And then we're gonna feed Tater Tot because I'm sure after a bath, he is very, very hungry. There you go, Tater. Oh. Now doesn't he look so pretty? Nice and clean and sparkling and so is his enclosure i also want to point out <clears throat> on the glass i just use water like a damp cloth um, to clean that i do not use windex or anything like that because chemicals can harm your beardy so you want to make sure that when you're cleaning the insides and then i don't even use it on the outsides so yeah, you get little smudges and what whatnot, but those are pretty easy to clean with just a, a damp, uh, clean cloth. All right, let's go get his terrarium all fixed up, and then I'm going to show you guys him eating some dubia and the black soldier fly larvae. Let's do it. While I'm out here, I just want to give you an update on our how our discoid first discoid colony is going. I haven't looked at it in maybe a month, other than to drop food in here, type of thing. I'm trying to let these guys just get big. We bought them as babies, and so I'm really interested to see because they were tiny when we got them. They were like we got some more babies. I haven't, I'm just trying to see. So we got them when they were this big. They're much different than Dubia. As far as their looks, in my opinion. But let's see if we can find some, some big ones. Oh, they're so pretty. I just think these are gorgeous. I mean, look at them. Look at their colors and their patterns are just really interesting. They get much bigger. Getting medium size now. And get them out where you can see them a little bit better. Their pattern is very unique looking. It's almost like a golden 
golden with black spots checkered looking or something like that. They are just really cool looking. Look at this guy. Definitely getting big. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. They're getting really big and we're just gonna let them get big and into adulthood and start breeding for us so that we can start selling these. I don't feed these to tater tot, although I could if I wanted to, but these are gonna be for sale for people that need them in other places like Florida. As you see, Tater Tot is looking really cute. He knows what time it is. It is lunchtime. So we got some roaches and some larvae there. And he sees them. He sees them and he's like, Mom, feed me, I'm starving. So okay, we're gonna go ahead and set this up real quick. I'm gonna figure out how am I gonna configure this. So I got all these things to put in there. And I'm gonna start with this log. So nice and clean. I'm gonna put it over. I'm gonna move this a little bit this way. Watch out for your little foot, baby. So cute. I'll put it a little bit over here this time. And I'm gonna put this branch over on this side and I'm gonna prop it up a little closer to the light so that if he wants to like sun bask on this side he can so you see that right underneath the he oh there he goes already look he's trying <laughs> he's trying to get closer he's like I'm gonna get closer and closer and so what I'm gonna use this for is I like to use this as a stabilizer he doesn't really go in here but I use it for down here at the base so this branch doesn't kind of shift and move for safety purposes and then this here I'm gonna put it over on this other side of his lamp so right like that and um, I'm going to leave the lamp there for right now, but uh, maybe next week I'll shift these lights over this way or, or this way, but I kind of like it in the center. I've noticed I like it in the center because it makes a terrarium really bright. So that's what, yep, I like that. So let's go ahead and feed Tater Tot. I'm gonna put the camera inside.
is collard greens that I got from the farm. We have a community farm. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get him. We like one fourth of this leaf. Collard greens, they can have a lot of different kind of veggies. So here I go with that. I'm just gonna tear into little pieces for him and put that in that bowl, okay? They don't use any pesticides or anything. You get fruits and vegetables from the store that you feed to your beardy, you should make sure that you cleanse them properly. Preferably, it's hard for me to say to buy organic for a bearded dragon, but those way, that way you know that your dragon is not eating pesticides, guys. All right, so I just give them about this much and this will last them for today. Hey, thanks you guys for watching today. I hope you found this informative and actually very fun to watch. I wanna invite you to, if you have not already, could you please like our video for today? And would you consider subscribing to our channel? Uh, we'd really appreciate that. We're so thankful for all of our viewers and the people who stop by our channel. Our channel is all things dubia roaches, discoid roaches, also all things are pets. So family pet vlogs. We do set up um, videos like this. We just do fun family videos of our pets. And we have reptile shows. So if you haven't seen that one yet, we recently went to the Conroe Earp show um, in January. So why don't you guys check that out? And we did almost all of the reptiles and spiders and you know the tarantulas there's a really cool trap door spider on there um, we did a lot of vendor uh vendor interviews and so it was just really a fun video to put together and i hope that you guys check that out thanks so much again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video